Welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. This recipe is Strawberry Shortcake Sponge Cake. It has a delicate blend of cream cheese filling and strawberry filling, sandwiched between the layers and then topped off with a mellow frosting, made from a vanilla pudding and whipped cream, along with some fancy chocolate accents. So their recipe amounts that are given in this recipe are for about a 9 by 14 inch single pan. Start by breaking 6 eggs into your mixing bowl. Now add 1 cup of white sugar to your eggs and then beat on high speed for 10 minutes. You will end up with about 3 to 4 times the volume you started with. Now then stir in 1 cup of all purpose flour with your spoon and just fold it gently in until it's well incorporated so that there's no more clumps of flour remaining. Remember to scrape from the bottom of the bowl to make sure that there aren't any trapped pockets of flour. But don't overwork the batter or it will deflate. And place it in a 350 degree oven and bake it until it's golden or a toothpick comes out clean. That's about 20 to 25 minutes. Now on to making the strawberry filling. So now then you'll wash and stem about two and a half cups of fresh strawberries. Then place them in the blender and just chop them till they're chunky. Place them in a pot on the stove and add half a cup of sugar. Turn the heat on medium high. Then prepare a quarter of a cup of water with two tablespoons of cornstarch in a separate cup and mix that together. Now once the strawberry mixture starts to simmer, you'll start to thicken it with the cornstarch mixture, stirring constantly until it's the right consistency. Now remove it from the heat and then pour it into a bowl and let it cool. Now to prepare the cream cheese filling. Take your mixing bowl and add 16 ounces of cream cheese, 3 quarters of a cup of sugar. So you'll beat the cream cheese and 3 quarters of a cup of sugar until it's smooth about 1 minute. Now add 1 cup of heavy whipping cream and beat it on high speed until it's fluffy about 2 or 3 minutes. Now then you'll need to cut your layers in half. Start by spreading your strawberry mixture and your cream cheese mixture and then sandwich that between the layers and you keep repeating that until you're to the top of the cake. Now if you want to, you could do another batch of this frosting with the cream cheese to decorate the top with, but in today's recipe I'm using a pudding frosting for the top, so I'll show you how to make that. This pudding frosting recipe is a good one to use on any cake, so it's a good recipe to have on hand. This is very simple to make, so you start by putting one package of vanilla pudding mix into the mixing bowl. Then add one package of Dream Whip. Now half the amount of milk that it calls for on the packages. Now whip that together until it forms soft peaks. And now you're ready to decorate your cake. It really is as simple as that. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to do some chocolate accents. Now pour some chocolate chips into a pot and put it over top of some boiling water to melt like this. Stirring it quite frequently, you make sure that all the lumps are out and it's smooth. Only keep it over the heat long enough to melt it and that's it. Then you take the chocolate and pour it into a bag with a decorating tip on the end. Then you take a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and go to town having some fun on whatever decorations you decide to create. It will take a little bit of time for the chocolate to set again, but if you want to speed it up, you can put it in the fridge. This cake is best made for when you have company coming over. Uh, it's great for a dessert. It will last a day or two in the fridge, but if you're going to leave it three or four days, it starts to get soggy. So it's best if you have people ready and willing to eat it up, and usually that's not a problem. It gets ate up pretty fast. It's really good. So I hope you enjoyed all of these recipes today. And until next time, happy eating!